Rebecca Brand, and today we're going to make a vegetable omelet with cream cheese. So you need your eggs, butter, milk, mushrooms, red pepper, a red onion, cream cheese, and salt and pepper. So lightly wash your mushrooms, and then let's chop them. This is a half pound of mushrooms, and I just give them a rough chop. It's going to be covered with that gooey cream cheese anyways. So turn your stove on high, and I'm going to put about two tablespoons of butter in that pan and have that start melting. As soon as you get the first layer down, then we just add our mushrooms. Because we're adding our vegetables so quickly to that butter, we're not gonna take the chance of browning that butter and changing the flavor. You might say, what's with all those mushrooms? Well, those mushrooms are so filled with moisture. Once they're cooked, there's gonna be hardly anything left. I keep this on high because I want all that moisture to come out of the mushrooms for more concentrated flavor. While those mushrooms are cooking, I'm going to chop up the rest of my vegetables. I really want my vegetables to be on the browned side, not on the boiled side. If I were to add this at the same time as my mushrooms, what happens is that little mushroom water would just boil them, and I don't want that. I want them sauteed in that butter and to be browned. So cut your onion up in little pieces. I'm cutting up one half of a large sweet red bell pepper into little pieces too. I'm using twice the quantity of vegetables I typically would have, but that's just because I want to show you how beautiful these vegetables are. And I like to have a lot of vegetables in my dishes. But when you're cooking, when you got it, you put it. You can use a little bit of any kind of vegetables left over in that fridge of yours for a vegetable omelet, and it'll all blend into the mix. It's been three minutes and now I'm turning these mushrooms. And see, there is no liquid in my frying pan. Yay! Now add your mushrooms and your bell pepper. Now they're gonna saute and brown, which is gonna bring the natural sugars out of your onion and your bell pepper. And it's gonna create another depth of flavor. Add a big pinch of salt and crack some brown pepper on it. And stir that up. Okay, now I'm gonna let it sit there and get brown on one side of all that. So I'm cracking three eggs into a bowl. So I crack the side, I peel it apart, and into it goes. So crack, thumb, thumb, pull apart into the bowl. That's how you crack an egg, with two hands. There you go, one, two, three eggs. Let's beat those up. And to that I'm adding two tablespoons of milk. So I like to pick it up and flip it. That's gonna give me the best probability of the brownness underneath to stay there and the little white side is going to get cooked again. Clean off the bottom of your pan with those vegetables because all those little bits are extra richness of flavor. It also saves at the sink. That's when you put them in a bowl for your omelet. But we're going to do our omelet next. I put it in a bowl to retain the temperature. A plate would just have all that heat escape. I want my omelet to slip slide away so I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter in this pan and just melt it on medium. I sure don't want my butter to brown because it always changes the flavor. I butter up the sides too because that omelet needs to be sliding around that pan. That butter is starting to froth. So here goes my three eggs with the milk into the bottom of that pan. You can use a smaller omelet pan if you want, but I'm just gonna prove to you that anything will work don't you waste your money if you don't make omelets that often. So what I do is I pull the egg from the sides of the pan into the center and I have the egg go back around. What this does is it makes it cook faster so I don't have any raw part in my eggs. I cook it slow, I'm cooking it on medium. I'm bringing down the sides of the eggs and I'm just gonna pull lightly that raw egg. As I push the edges into the center, the rawness comes out onto the edges. And that is my secret for a cooked through and through omelet. I turn the heat down now because I think that is just about done. As long as I have most of that raw part off, I am ready. Oh, I want this creamy cream cheese. So I'm cutting it up into little pieces and dropping it in to one side of that omelet. My omelet's gonna be awfully gooey. This is three tablespoons of cream cheese. And I'll tell you, this size of an omelet, I could share with a friend. This is an omelet for two. But hey, no judgment here, eat as much as you want. I'm not counting your calories. And now I put in the vegetables. I've turned my heat to low because I don't want a browned omelet on the exterior. I like mine light yellow. 
I had not added salt and pepper to my eggs, so I'm going to add it now. Here's some salt, and here's some pepper. Now it's time for the side flip. I might use the two spatula method because it's pretty thin on the sides. So get in there and flip them Dano. So I'm gonna flip it onto my plate. This is like the five minute breakfast. It's so fast, it's so easy, using whatever vegetables you have in your fridge. But this really is my favorite combination of vegetables. Oh wow, look at that. What a bite. And you can portion this out for your kids because this is one big omelet. <laughs> mm. Make this for your Sunday brunch. Subscribe to my channel and let's keep making great things in the kitchen. Bon appetit. Mm.